We're bringing back LeVar once again, but Marcellus, mm. I need to know right now. Yep. Would it be smart for the Cowboys to take a chance on Earl Thomas? Why are you shaking your head? Don't do it. Uh -oh. Reconsider. Read some litter. Churr on the subject. You sure? Y'all know this. Oh. Um, culture is what you reward, and you can't reward this. Um, if I love the back channel of the NFL because we get on TV and a lot of times we only have two minutes to say what we say. And we try to really like squish it all in. But boy, if y'all knew what my texts, my messages, my info, my intel was telling me, Earl Thomas has done too much, man. But let's just talk about the things that everyone knows, the layman knows. <laughs> when a paragraph is written about you that I'm about to quote, the writing's on the wall, big dog, it's over. Quote, when your owner had to read that his starting safety's wife put a gun to his head at 3.41 in the morning after catching him and his brother in the orgy during the early phases of coronavirus or shelter in place. <sighs> I'm just telling y'all, the NFL I know, this is what they're doing upstairs. Okay, one more thing. And it doesn't even have to be a big thing. I don't care what the thing is, he's gone. And Earl Thomas should have saw this coming. So I got to hit you, Earl Thomas, because I got respect for you. What a Wileyism uh -oh. right now. Here's the Wileyism that tried to tell Earl Thomas what was coming. Hello. The universe whispers before it yells. The universe told you, Earl Thomas, slow down, big dog. You're doing too much. Time and time again, showing up late to meetings. Showing up late to meetings, going to sleep in meetings. Then you get the issue with the family. Then you get into the situation where all of a sudden you're fighting your teammates. The universe whispered long enough. Now it's yelling at you, Earl Thomas. Suta. Marcellus, I did not know that Wileyisms contained Ebonics. See, big, <laughs> big Dog is usually excluded from your Wileyisms, but I appreciate the growth. Um, the Cowboys, they should take a chance on Earl Thomas. Uh, I've known Earl since going back to college. We played at Texas, went to a national championship together. That is a, a friend of mine, a guy who I consider uh, I have a lot of respect for. However, Earl has been making some mistakes. Earl has been tripping, but Marcellus LeVar, y'all know better than anybody. The NFL, all it is is one big cost-benefit analysis. Yeah. What are you going to cost me, and what is the benefit that you are going to bring me? The Dallas Cowboys will not have to pay a lot of money for Earl because the Ravens are on the hook for either 10 or $5 million, depending on what happens contractually with um, Earl doing conduct that's detrimental to the team. Mm. But look at the Cowboys. No team had fewer interceptions than them last year. Only five teams had fewer takeaways than them last year. Earl Thomas, seven-time Pro Bowler, five-time All-Pro, still has a lot left in the tank. But even if Earl doesn't have much left in the tank, he's not going to cost you a lot of money, so you might as well take that chance. A dude who was grown up in the state of Texas while he was on the Seahawks pleaded to Jerry Jones, hey, come get me. When y'all got the chance, come get me, he said. Well... Cowboys fans, y'all got the chance. But the last thing I'm going to say is this. Oh. America's team is also a team full of troublemakers. <laughs> Let's not act like they not. Zeke Elliott pulled a woman's top down on camera at Mardi Gras. Starting right tackle had some issues, so he ended up going undrafted, even though he was a first-round, second-round type of talent. Mm -hmm. Randy Gregory missed 32 of the last 34 games. So it's not like that star is very shiny itself. Hmm. You know, there are some stars in the history of this game. One that was in Baltimore that was actually in the clink the year before he won a Super Bowl. Mm. Uh, everybody isn't going to do the least or be caught up in the least, even if they're not guilty later on. I think there's always going to be storylines that surround high-profile guys. And sometimes the things that happen are a, a tad bit movie scripted. Uh, but nonetheless you still find a way for that universe that is whispering to yell out, just don't make that same mistake here. And I think that that might be what exists in Dallas. I think the upside or the potential of him and Adams being in the same defensive backfield, it could be a tremendous deal. Just universe, as it said, just don't make that mistake. It's screaming. It's hollering. Girl, <laughs> if you Girl. go there, yeah. don't make that mistake again. And that's what and, the universe and is. And don't play right Derrick Henry again. Good Lord. And don't <laughs> play against Derrick Henry no, I'm again. Going